Southwest Research Institute has developed a powerful, unique emissions research tool for diesel engine catalyst evaluation and calibration. The system is the first fully transient, full-sized, continuous reactor rig. The device allows engineers to evaluate a full-sized catalyst component independent of an actual engine and its operating constraints. HETR stands for Hot Gas Transient Reactor. It's a diesel-fired burner system that allows us to duplicate the exhaust gas composition from a medium-duty to a heavy-duty sized truck engine. Diesel engine catalyst systems are much more complex than their gasoline counterparts. Integrating and calibrating these systems is typically a two-step process. The first stage uses a small core synthetic gas reactor bench before implementing full-sized part calibration with an engine. The need for this product arose from the rapid emergence of catalysts in the diesel world. The number of catalysts have increased dramatically over the last decade. When we look at the methodologies for evaluating the calibration and controls performance of catalysts, uh, we see that there's a very large gap between small core synthetic gas reactor testing and full-size part on engine testing. The HETR provides us with a tool that we can now do reactor type testing on full-size parts as well as engine simulation on that same test stand. HGTR generates exhaust gas conditions allowing any combination of mass flow, temperature, NOx, hydrocarbons, water, and oxygen. The system allows transient control of all independent variables, allowing for operations that simulate any engine and any transient emission test cycle. Southwest Research Institute has developed the HETR to be very accessible to the test engineer. Uh, we have broken it down into four basic levels that can be purchased independently. Each level builds on the previous level, and each level represents an uh, independent test stand that is useful in the work of catalyst development. At level one, we simulate a cold flow bench. This allows us to do injection and mixing type studies. At level two, we add a burner to the system. This enables flow and temperature control and allows us to do accelerated catalyst aging. At level three, this is where we create the full-size gas reactor. We build on levels one and two, and we add the ability to control multiple different exhaust gas variables. This is a truly unique test stand at this point. It's not available on the market. At level four, we further add to the capability, and we enable it to do a fully transient operation of the gas reactor. Because each level builds on the previous level, the test engineer has the option of selecting the levels and the capabilities that are appropriate for his laboratory. And as his needs change in the future, he also has the option of adding levels to his current system. At a full level four system, the HETR price is comparable to an engine test cell. However, we have four different test stands embodied in the one system. So this presents cost savings compared to purchasing each of those test stands individually. The system was designed to be modular so that in the future, as our capabilities expand, and we anticipate that uh, the capabilities of the system will continue to expand through research. This allows us to develop new controls and, and new functions for the system, but it also allows us to offer those new capabilities to our existing clients as well as our current clients. The HGTR is the first fully transient, full-sized, continuous reactor type system. Small core gas reactor benches typically use bottled gas to simulate exhaust conditions. In contrast, HGTR produces a continuous exhaust flow through combustion of fuels and compounds. This produces an exhaust gas composition that more closely duplicates the array of species emitted by a working engine. The independent control of exhaust variables allows a single test stand to be used where multiple test stands were needed in the past. The control also enables libraries of engines to be simulated, allowing for work to shift from one catalyst platform to another without requiring engine removal or installation and instrumentation. These features reduce the facility test cell requirements and can improve facility utilization. An additional significant point is that the HGTR can use engine model data as input, enabling catalyst work to begin on engines that have not yet been produced. The HGTR is a unique product that currently has no direct competition. 